Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show up here and I wanted to look like this throughout the majority of the video, but you're gonna see in a second. I literally just got out of the shower. I threw my hair up. Your girl is a hot mess, but I reminded myself that I show up on my channel as myself and I'm a hot mess. 90, 95% of the time, and it is what it is. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I plan to be my summer makeup routine. I have been doing this summer makeup routine for the last four, five, six weeks. I live on the East Coast. We get like four, maybe four and a half, five months out of the year of just great weather. This is a happy time. I'm so happy that I filmed this video, honestly, because I really wasn't going to, and I feel very accomplished, and I feel very beautiful. And I'm not saying that to be conceited, and I'm not saying that in hopes that you continue watching this video, but I just, I don't know. I feel, looking at myself, I feel, I, I don't want to get emotional. I just haven't really been feeling myself, honestly, for over a year now. I found out that my dad was sick with cancer 13 months ago. We found out the end of May, so kind of like a year ago. I have not felt confident in my body. I've kind of just... To be honest, like not here and very much disconnected. I don't know what it is, this makeup, I just, um, this color dress on me, I just, I feel radiant and looking at myself in the monitor, I kind of like see the old me and I don't want to cry because I just did my makeup and I actually put mascara on today, which I have not been wearing mascara ever since my dad um, passed or even like when he was really sick because I just cry all the time, hence, hence the about to cry. But anyway, I'm looking at myself and I'm like, ah, there she is. I do this makeup every day, but oftentimes I do this makeup and then I throw my hair up in a bun and I'm running off to New York City to go to work. But I just, I did my hair today, I put the effort in, I put my earrings on that I haven't worn in forever that I bought in Italy and it's just like little things like that that make me happy. So this is the makeup look that I did today. It's just very skin concentrated, juicy, dewy, delicious, but the coverage is great. It's very light, it's very minimal, but it's there still. So it's just myself, but a very elevated version of myself. And this is heat friendly. You can go outside, you could sweat a little bit and your makeup really isn't gonna move. I've tried to be the cute put together influencer, you know, like someone who shows up and just looks adorable all the time. But the reality is, is that that's not my reality. And I'm gonna stop putting that pressure on myself and just show up as I am because I work full time and I have a lot going on and I don't have all day to look cute and I'm not shading those influencers who look put together all the time. I aspire for that. But the reality is, is that I'm too tired. I have too much going on and I prioritize sleep. And unfortunately I have to prioritize a full-time job because I'm not a stay at home wife. So here we are, I'm dressed. I got this really cute dress from Old Navy that my sister bought me for my birthday. I love it. It's like hoochie. Hoochie Mama. I just washed my hair. It's in an acquise towel. My plan is to air wrap it, but if I were you, I would bet money on the fact that this head is not getting air wrapped because I'm probably gonna run out of time. I have absolutely nothing on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead, zoom you guys in. We're gonna do skincare, makeup, all the kind of fun stuff. And I'm just gonna show you what my summer kind of like makeup routine, quick on the go. You guys know this is like the theme of my life, theme of my videos, quick on the go, get it done, live my best life kind of routine. I like this Glass Skin Veil Mist Hydrate and Glow for pre-skincare purposes. I really don't like this on top of my makeup. I find that it just, it's not as good as my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, nor is it as good as my Beach Mist by The Lifestyle & Co. So it is what it is. I bought this, I'm gonna use it. It has pretty good skincare benefits in it. And it is a very, very fine mist. I'm talking so fine that you can't even feel if it's hitting your face. This should come as no surprise, my friends. Shiseido Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. I am all about the antioxidants, which is exactly what this is. I use about two pumps as radiancy. Radiance? I don't know if that's even a word to my face. Um, and I picked the crap out of a pimple over here, so let's all please ignore that. And don't forget your neck. And what is that awful humming noise? Do we hear that? I'm sorry. My neighbors are loud and like really obnoxious. And I know you're supposed to be nice to your neighbors, but in all reality, 
I hate them and everyone in my life knows that I hate them because they're so inconsiderate and they're so loud. It's just really, really ridiculous. I'm now gonna go in with my Marad Hydration Perfecting Day Cream. Also, no surprise. My skincare, guys, does not really change. I have very sensitive, dry skin. I just find that like when I find something that works for me, I fix it if it ain't broke. What is that saying? I don't know. But I've been doing this thing where I focus my sunscreen first on the areas where I have some discoloration and I don't know why I'm just gonna let it sit there for like literally a second and I don't know about you guys I get like dark spots all on the sides of my face I don't know what that is and add some to my neck I literally give this like 10 seconds and then I go in I don't even think this does anything but I'm just being real with you guys and showing you what I do normally I would put sunscreen all over me but the reality is that we are going out to dinner for mike's birthday tonight currently i am talking to mike's brother brian we're trying to figure out yankee tickets for his birthday tomorrow if you know nothing about my husband the one thing you should know is that he is the love of my life first and foremost i literally said this to brian his happiness is priceless however he is the pickiest person I've ever met. Kudos to me. And like claps and snaps. I'm putting the Laneige lip sleeping mask on. Claps and snaps to me and just how amazing of a woman I must be because for him to be so picky, I must be a serious catch. He's a very decisive person. He likes to pick what he wants to do for his birthday, but his birthday is literally Monday. I'm filming this. It is currently Friday. And so this is his birthday weekend and we have no plans except dinner, which was just decided very last minute ago. So I need to start making plans, whether he likes the plans or not, but I can't imagine that he's not gonna like a Yankee game. I have three foundations that are like heavy in my rotation at the moment. And I just think they're the perfect summer kind of base for your face. So today I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I'm in the shin, shin, I am in the shade for neutral. It's great, I love it. I think this, excuse me, ooh, I got an itch. I think this one at the current moment is my favorite depending upon the day and depending upon my skin. I may have a different favorite. This has been the favorite at the moment, which is why I'm gonna use it. But I've also been really loving the Say Beauty Slip Tint. Since we're going out to dinner, I want something with a little bit more coverage, which is why I'm gonna use this. But the slip tint is beautiful. If you wanna see a full day wear test, I had so much fun filming that. I forgot how much fun I have when filming wear tests, but I'll link that video up here if you are interested in checking it out. And then the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. I wore it yesterday and let me tell you something, my skin looked immaculate after wearing it for 12 hours. I'm taking this little plate, you can use anything to mix your foundation with a little bit of oil. And I just like this because it gives the foundation a little bit more of a slip and it helps the foundation to sink into my skin more and gives me that kind of like hydration that helps to mask and soften. I always find that word to be so weird to say. Soften, soften, I don't know how you say it, but it softens your texture and any kind of dry spots. So I'm gonna take a full pump of my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin, just like so. Go to Face Hero. It is a powerful and protective face oil. It's super oils, antioxidants. Again, guys, I'm all about the antioxidants. One drop, because a drop is literally all you need. This little guy, you can use anything. And I'm gonna thoroughly, thoroughly mix it together on my little plate. Put what's ever left over on the spatula. In the center of my face where I have the most discoloration and textured, just so you guys can see, I have a lot of redness. I have a little bit of like acne spots. I don't know, my skin's just weird and it's about to be that time of the month. And I feel like that time of the month just comes quicker and quicker as I get older, even though it's still 28, 29, 30 days, um, just a little ridiculous. And I'm gonna use this crown brush, this fluffy little brush. I'm gonna work whatever I have on my face first into my skin, like so. And I'm using bouncing, pressing, stamping motions. And although I don't look cute in this little hair turban, I will say it makes applying my makeup so much easier because all of my hair is really out of my face. I've been eating really healthy. I've been working out every single day, moving my body for at least 30 minutes. And I'm just, I'm feeling myself, but I haven't really been taking the time to get dressed up. And I feel like since I'm taking the time to take care of myself a little bit more recently, like I kind of want to dress up and like look cute. And I'm wearing this tight ass dress tonight. Ever since 
since losing my dad, I'm just not feeling myself. I'm really, I, to be honest, I'm not feeling anything. Like I just, I feel very disconnected from everything. I don't know, I was listening to this Sia song today. I forgot what song it is, but she's like saying that we're all on a floating rock. Like I literally, that's how I feel. I feel like we're all just on a floating rock and like none of this matters. And I know that sounds like really depressing, but in a way, I don't know, in a way it kind of is helping me put things into perspective as to what in life matters and what doesn't. So I just feel a little disconnected and I really am having trouble caring about anything, including what I kind of look like. But I do find that when I put makeup on, I definitely feel better about myself. So I have about this much left over and you might be wondering why I have some splotchy blotchies over here, but that's because I pick it up and then I always like to blend it into the brush. I just find that it applies the makeup a little bit more evenly and leaves less texture on my skin. Concealer. I don't know. This is just like my go-to concealer, the NYX Professional Makeup. Bear with me concealer serum. I love this guys. I use this Monday through Friday every single day and I'm in the shade vanilla. So I'm going to take about half a pump. I'm just going to start there. Picking it up with this e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. Bouncing it into the brush like I did with the foundation brush. And I'm just going to lightly add some concealer to my face. Thank God we needed to get rid of that. That was like really bothering me. I just can't stop picking my skin. A terrible habit. And I always tell myself, self, you're gonna have a scar and then you're gonna be mad about the scar, you know? But that just, it doesn't stop me. I'm using this to just brighten up the center of my face and I like to lift the corners of my mouth and then brighten in here. This brush is so good guys, like one of the best drugstore brushes I've ever used. It's so nice. And I'm making sure to really get in here to lighten up my eye, get rid of the darkness. I forgot to apply my Banana Bright eye cream. That is something that I have been using every single day, so I do apologize, but let's pretend like I applied it. I didn't apply it, but it's too late now, and I don't have enough time, to be honest. I am freaking obsessed with this OG sculpted face stick in copper. You twist, twisty twist up. And then this is literally my favorite part. Let me hold my thing back. I just, like, delete, delete delete my face um, and I've been bringing a little bit up on the sides to just get rid of this little like hanging okay I'm not being mean to myself I'm just saying I noticed that like right here it's a little hangy hangy so I just bring it up a little bit just in that area and I'm looking straight on in the mirror to do my cheeks and even though I looked straight on they still came out a little uneven that's okay and then I like to do a line right there to help lift the eyes. You guys know, I take a little bit and I'm just gonna contour my nose. And the beauty about this is that if you make a mistake, like see how it's a little too wide over there, you just take your finger, clean it up. And it's like not that serious. Guys, makeup is not that serious. Fiensa, this is their bronzer brush. I love it, favorite bronzer brush ever. But obviously I follow a lot of makeup channels because I'm obsessed with makeup and I enjoy watching other makeup content. And it's just like, sometimes I read the comments and no one comments on my videos because I don't know, I'm waiting for people to comment. And for those of you who do once in a blue moon, thank you. You've helped me feel seen because the reality is like a lot of the time, I feel like I'm just filming these videos and editing them for no purpose other than because I enjoy them. And that's okay. That's what's most important in life is enjoying what you do. And I really, really, really love doing these videos. I don't know. It just feels so fulfilling to me whether people watch or not. So I'm going to continue to do the videos. However, when I go on other people's TikToks, like people get so offended with how people do makeup. And it's like, guys, it's makeup. It washes off, you know? And it's not like Mary over there who painted her whole face with a pound and a half of Foundation, what's her name, Meredith? You know Meredith, the one who puts like a half of a bottle of foundation on her face every time she does her makeup. Like people get so mad. When she's done, her skin, her makeup always looks great. But even if it didn't look great, that's Meredith's face. Like if Meredith wants to look like a cake face, like that's okay. Doesn't mean you have to follow along her techniques and do what she does, but it's just makeup and it's not that serious. I don't know what the point of that was, but I'm gonna pinch my brush and just like this contour stick, guys, it is like on 
freaking real. Look at that. It blends out in like two seconds. Concealer brush and I'm just gonna go along the sides of my nose just to help clean up that contour. Nothing crazy and I'm not picking up any more product. I'm just basically cleaning up. I love so many cream blushes, but I have to say right now I am just, I'm feeling this and I think that this beautiful color looks great with my green outfit. Merit in the shade Stockholm. It's a beautiful, bright, summer perfection kind of color. And I'm gonna take this crown brush, stamping it and focusing it in the back of my cheek first. It's just like, look at that, look at that cheek. It's so good. And again, I'm looking in a mirror, trying to get everything as even as possible. Tip from me to you. When doing your makeup, honestly, I think it's more important to step away from the mirror to get the full picture than it is to be like up this close. What you can do is apply your makeup from a distance to get things as symmetrical as possible, if symmetry is your thing. And then once you're done, you can come closer to a mirror to just kind of perfect things and blend things. Now I'm gonna do this sort of like W effect because I don't like when this section doesn't have blush on my face. It just looks too PC. This is my favorite way to do my brows. It's pretty freaking easy. I've been using the Patrick Ta Major Brow Lamination Gel. It keeps my brows up all day long, but you need to know a couple things. If you go through your brows too many times with this product, it starts to look like you glued your brows up, like, you know, crusty, cakey. When you go to wash it out, you need to be super, super gentle on your brows because this is the kind of product where you're going to go in with a cleansing oil, you're going to double cleanse and you're just going to scrub and scrub and scrub. And if you scrub those bad boys too hard, you're going to start to take your brow hairs out. I'm going to brush up the brows. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm brushing them up. Once I have them into place, I'm going to take the back side, push them up. Kind of just lock them in and laminate them to the skin, like adhere them to the skin. And I'm going to look a little closer now because I don't want it to look like glue. NYX Lift and Snatch Ash Brown. I'm just going to follow my hair. And I'm just going over where I want my brows to be a little fuller. And then I'm going to flip the pen up and go up in the front. I really never thought that I would fall in love with this powder because it's, it's just, I'm gonna be honest, it's cheesy, okay? It just, it sounds cheesy. It's the Watermelon Press Powder by Ciate. So I basically hold these two brushes together. The e.l.f. brush that I just had to apply the concealer and my M0 by Morphe. I brush the concealer out of my fine lines and then I go in with my M0 and the powder that I just swiped on there. And I kind of like powder as I go and I pat it. The powder again. And I'm cleaning up the sides of my nose. Again, cleaning up that contour just to help straighten out the nose a little bit. And this is the most important part in my eyes. <laughs> no pun intended. So I'm taking the creases out again with that e.l.f. brush up top, taking some powder and I'm putting that on the lid of my eye, but I'm really focusing it right here. Can you see how that just like brightened my eye? Subtly, but honestly guys with makeup, I feel like subtle makes the biggest difference. And I'm gonna hit pan on this powder. And it's kind of shocking because you guys know I am like the queen of powder. I've really dubbed myself that for the last, like how many years have I been on YouTube? I always say I love a good powder. A powder, in my opinion, can really make or break your makeup routine. I'm taking some on my forehead just to make the forehead look a little smoother. But can you see the difference between this side of my face that I powdered and this side? This just like looks more awake. It looks more put together. And I always take a little bit and just stamp right here because I hate when like this is really, like this section of your face, if it's too shiny, that's when you start to look sweaty. My kind of like throw it in my bag. I always keep this packed. It has all of like my beauty makeup that I honestly cannot live without on a daily basis. And kind of just like the steps that I often run out of in the morning. Like when I sit down to do my makeup in the morning before work, like I'll run out of time. And I like to keep these kind of like steps in my makeup routine in this little pouchette. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. I keep a little pad in here, but it gives a little bit of coverage and also helps to set the face a little bit more. And I just like to do this in the center. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this 
and just pat, pat, pat. Can you see the redness over here? I just want to get rid of it a little bit. And see how that like softened it? I don't know if you could see, but it just softens it a little bit. I talked a lot of smack about this and I think I need to do an updated Sephora video because if you guys watched my Sephora haul, I talked a lot of smack about a lot of those products and a lot of them I still don't like, but things like this where I kind of was like, what is this? It's pointless. It's stupid. Like this is so expensive for what it is. I use this every day. Dior Lip Glow Color Revival Balm in 001. In all reality, this is expensive. Anything that says Dior, expensive. Dior bag, Dior sunglasses, Dior makeup. It's all in a Dior league of its own price range. And you don't need this. It's not very high. It is hydrating. It is hydrating. But it's not like you're putting Aquaphor on your lips. Like it's not like a miracle worker. It's just really nice. And the color is really, really pretty. She said to me, bitch, you want to see if I'm worth the price tag? Here you go. Pillow Talk Lip Cheat. Look at this little nubby. This little nubby. Because again, I feel like this is a really nice tone. It just, I'll do half. It's just like such a pretty shade. Do you see the difference? It's, it's like bitten. It's like you just made out. It's like that perfect, just kissed color. It's sexual. It is. Dior, I'm sorry I talked shit about you because I quite honestly had no idea. I had no idea. I haven't really been wearing a lot of eyeshadow and I also have not been wearing mascara on a day-to-day -day basis. Even before my dad passed away, I really wasn't wearing a lot of mascara because at any moment I just would get really emotional and I didn't want my mascara to run down my face. I cry every day, but it's not as erratic, I feel like, as it used to be. I would just wrap it up here. I think the naturalness of nothing on the eyes really adds something to it. And I think it's nice for summer. Like, no, I don't know. Kind of in my vibe, but I'm gonna curl my lashes just because I'm going out tonight. Otherwise, if this was like a day look, and honestly, normally if we were going out to dinner, I might not put mascara on either, but it's for my husband's birthday, so I'm just gonna level up a little bit. So I'm gonna take the Tweezer Man eyelash curler and I'm just gonna zhuzh up the lashes first. But you know what? Before I throw mascara on, I am gonna set my face with a little bit of setting spray. And I think it's important to set your face with setting spray before you put mascara on because you don't want mascara transfer. Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I commute to and from New York City, and I gotta be honest, I am tired of showing up to work with a sweaty face. So I got myself this little fan so that on my walk, I can just like cool myself off. I do walk for almost a half an hour every day to work and you know, it is June. So I can only imagine the sweat that I'm going to create in July. And I don't even wanna talk about August. Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I got a little trial size. I love a trial size mascara. I'm tired of saying Lancome Lashy Doll. And why do I say lash and not lash? Lancome lash doll. Like if I were to refer to my lashes, I would say my lashes, not my lashes. I don't know why my mouth or why my brain, I guess, goes there every time I say it. I'm gonna go blow dry my hair, put my other lashes on. See, lashes, not lashes. And I'll be right back. This is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know that it's not like super intricate, but if you've been following along, you know, I just love a natural kind of ethereal, soft glam kind of makeup look. I feel like for the longest time I would paint my face and just follow what all of the trends and all of the beauty gurus were doing. I think I'm really honing in on what it is I enjoy on my own face and what works for me and what doesn't work for me. So, you know, if you're a guy or a gal who just loves a juicy, skin kind of moment with like a nice plump lip and some bushy brows then I really think that this is the channel for you. Do be sure to let me know down below in the comments do you like this makeup look? What are some of your summer staples? Like what are the products that you're going to be using through and through every single day of this summer? I would love to hear them. I really just enjoy sitting here and talking to you guys. I find that it's very it's cathartic the word. You know I don't know words. I don't I, I'm not my vocabulary is lacking. That is something that I had planned on improving in 2023. But then, you know, with my dad passing away and everything, 
I don't really care if I use the wrong word here and there. Like, that's just where I'm at. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. And I genuinely hope to see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.